Hello Internet, welcome back to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. In the last episode, we went to the blowhole of the Orion Titan and defeated an arachno that had a blade. This time, we're going to be returning to the training ground in Garfont because that's what the current objective tells me to do. Uh, before we actually get there, I do want to say I'm sorry that uploads for this series haven't been frequent as I would like them to be. Um... It's just, I've had a lot going on lately, and, like, I'm about to have a job, which is not, it doesn't go well with YouTube, but I'll do my best to keep recording this stuff. Let's head forward. <laughs> hey! Hold still. I thought you were a tough salvager, Rex. Give me a break. Pain is pain, isn't it? How about you? Are you hurt? Don't worry. It's just a scratch. <laughs> ah! Ah! That was on purpose! You were hurting me on purpose, weren't you? Well... I wasn't. Honest. I was just rubbing the lotion in. Rex! You rubbed it too hard. Ah! It hurts. Hey, See? you two. Give me a look at that. What is this? Haven't seen this before. Don't know why a blade would be stuck with a bunch of wounds. And they're exactly the same as Rex's. Incredible. Never heard of such a thing. It's all true. I just thought it was an accessory. Van Damme, that's not my style. Blades are supposed to heal up right away, no matter what the wound. If the crystal's in one piece and the driver's alive, nothing can touch them. So why is she all bashed up? That's just how the chips fell. It is what it is. What it is is a problem. It means if one of you kicks the bucket, you both do. You told me that a good driver always protects his blade. So that's what I'll do. I'm gonna protect her. Easier said than done, kid. Listen, Pyro, she saved my life, brought me back from the dead. So I won't die again. I've got to live, for her sake, until we get to Elysium, at least. We can make it together. Rex, you mean... Going to Elysium? I can't let that stand. It won't do. A bunch of amateurs stealing the show? The script exists for a reason. Akos. Please speak only when you're spoken to, traitor. Traitor, traitor, traitor! Nia, you're one of the baddies now, you villain! <laughs> I didn't betray anyone. Then why do you stand with them? You think that is where you belong? But I... I... <laughs> Who are these goons? Torna. They're trying to get their hands on Pyra. Corner! Akos, just tell us what you're here for. Well, the Aegis, of course. I just had to come and see the leading lady with my own eyes. Jin, were you up to this? Well deduced. Oh, by the way, his orders were to deal with you in whatever manner I see fit. So, you know what that means. He wouldn't. You're lying! Why the surprise? Did you think he would still care about you? Oh, to live in your reality. Ow! Well, well. Your part in this play is coming to an end. So, time for you to shuffle off the stage. What's wrong? I know the name Torna. They've taken the lives of too many drivers. Including some of my crew. Good people. 
Rumor says it's because they're collecting core crystals. So, if this Akos is one of them... You! Zuo! Get everyone out of the village! Yes, sir! You ready? Ready. Got it. Thanks for this. No problem. It'll be tough. His blade, Obrona, she can manipulate the ether in the air. It lets him counter elemental attacks by generating fields of the opposing element. Finally! A decent opponent for a change! Let's go! Okay, this is going to finally teach you about chain attacks. I will tell you all about them myself because chain attacks are basically the most important part of this game's battle system. Akos is pretty much the strongest opponent we've seen so far. As you can see, he's starting with a water orb and that is because the game wants us to use a chain attack right away, so let's just do it. Whenever you use a level 3 special, or get 3 specials, you will be able to get an elemental orb. Uh, by cracking elemental orbs, you'll be able to get an extra turn in a chain attack. Uh, every character gets one turn, if you break an elemental orb, everybody gets an extra one. There's more to this that we can't really do right now, so we're just gonna go with this. Elemental orbs take more damage if you hit them with their opposing element, so this water orb took more damage from a fire element, while it would take less damage from a water element. It actually would take normal damage from a water element, but water specials automatically do less damage if there's already a water orb, so that's what I meant by that. As for Akos as a boss, he's incredibly easy, mostly because they give you a chain attack right in the very beginning. Uh, he is weak to Earth, so it actually would have been a pretty good idea to have Tora in this fight, but we don't have Tora in this fight, so I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Uh, and since Tora and Van Damme only have one blade, we wouldn't have gotten an extra turn with them anyway. Uh, depending on how well you do in a chain attack, sometimes your blades will get to come back earlier. Uh, or get to come back uh, more likely during a chain attack, it just depends on how you do. But, since Tora and Van Damme only have one and they're likely to be the last blades in your party, you're not likely to get an extra turn. Uh, but from here, this fight is just pretty easy. Uh, <coughs> Akos has a Brona. She is a fighter blade, so he obviously specializes in fighter arts, but he's also really good with Aether, as Nia said in the cutscene. Uh... I was going to say I don't like that I have the aggro, but Nia took it. Oh, script. Such an honor, sharing a stage with the legendary Aegis! Ah! Ah! Huh? Why would the driver... It seems that they're taking each other's damage somehow. So that means that the Aegis is a mere mortal right now. In that case, a little more damage, and she'll be easy to deal with! <laughs> Pyra! Kids these days, I swear. Can't leave you alone for a minute. Could you use a hand? Leave it to me. I'll take this dog down! Uh. to deflect now you and your fancy moves you lack grit just too many of these bit players my interest is waned abrona perhaps it's time for another tale oh, sure sure 
Sure. Pyra! 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 How is she? She's not badly hurt. Dromark thinks she just needs rest. That's good to hear. Maybe. I used too much power again. Hey, Rex. Hmm? Know what the difference is between me and that Ekos fella? Well, he's a bad guy trying to get Pyra. And you're... No. <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence, kid. What if I told you that we weren't that different? Huh? My crew at the village, we think we're fighting for justice. But a just fight? I'm telling you now, there's no such thing. What people call justice, it's just an excuse to fight. War is war. The more you stand up for yourself, the more people want to fight you. Before you know it, you're in a war. Listen, all I'm saying is, we've got our fight, and he's got his. But what he's doing is... Yeah, it's bad. But war ain't about right and wrong. Power. That's all it is. And power can take many different forms. It depends on the heart of its wielder. If we don't use our power, just because we're scared of it, we're done for. As for who's right and who's wrong, no one knows for sure. So all we can do is protect what's important. I think I understand. We all got our own war, kid. My... war? Good morning. Pyra! Feeling better? Yeah. I slept so much. Good. Glad to hear. Also, Nia's got something to talk to you about. She does? Yeah. Go ahead, Nia. Um, I... Rex, I want you to come help me. Um, come where? To Van Damme. I need to tell him about my past with Akos and all that lot. Ah, sure. If you'd like me to, I will. Thanks. Nia originally said she was going to go alone, but I said maybe it'd be better if you went along too. Um, maybe I should explain. Van Tam. He kind of scares me a bit. Ha <laughs> ha! I get it. Alright, so Tora is automatically out of the party because we had Van Dam in earlier. This is one of the only times in the game where you can only have where you can have only two people in the party while having less than five party members. So I'm going to keep it that way because the less Tora, the better. <laughs> uh, we did get an upgrade on the affinity chart for Pyra from that fight, it seems. So, two. From power, hope. Okay, Pyra. Yeah, Blazing End increases critical damage by 55%. That's a lot of percent. Okay, uh... I'll check everybody else's affinity charts while I'm here, too. Yeah, we got the entirety of level 4 for Dromark. Uh, and that's all... Okay, there's a lot of noises going on outside my window. I'm sorry, but I'm not closing the window in the middle of the summer. Uh, dude, this guy is still just freaking out. He doesn't have a speech bubble, so there's no way to find out why. But it's kind of, like, creepy. 
I want to know what's going on with this guy why he's just having a nervous breakdown in the middle of the street. Oh, poor guy. Oh, it's you guys! What got you out of bed so early? Nia? Thanks for yesterday. You saved our skins. That guy, Akos, I mean. I wanted to tell you about him. You see... Thing is, we used to be... Being a mercenary, you meet all kinds of different folks. Huh? Your country, family, money. People got plenty reasons to fight. Like fighting for a special girl. I see that a lot. Though not every girl has a strange crystal in her chest, eh? Y you mean Pyra? We're, we're just... Nia. You're with these guys right now. That's what matters. But... Aren't you... Anyway, Rex. Weren't you saying you wanted to get to Elysium? Yeah. But we hit a snag. With a monster like that in the way, it's impossible. No guild ship's getting close to it without going down. Well, I've got an old mate in the Orion capital. Got a feeling he might know a way through. Really? Yeah. I gotta go there anyhow, so I could introduce you. Van Damme, thank you. Nah. It's destiny or something. Don't sweat it. Get your stuff together and meet me by the village entrance. Alright. Next time on Xenoblade Chronicles 2, we're going to be meeting Van Damme by the village entrance. I would view this heart-to-heart -heart on screen, but it involves Tora in ways that I do not like. So, I'll see you guys next time. I gotta think of what view I'm going to show for the end screen this time, so.